Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. I um, was just jibber jawing and realized I never turned my camera on. <laughs> so I'm starting my video over. Um, first of all, welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for anybody that's stopping by. I truly appreciate the support. Um, as you can see this week, I or today, I am working on hashtag 52 tags handmade. Um, I never completed my week, I never did my week 19, so that's what I'm working on today. Um, it uh, involved using text. Um, I plan on, and as I, as you can see, I started stitching the word create. I'm going to use the word create on the front. Inside I'm going to use joy one and then I'm going to make a needle with some thread, a couple stitches for stitch at a time. That's what my text is going to be. I have gathered up fabrics, um, some laces, some things that I want to coordinate um, for this, I have a button here and a jar of buttons in case I change my mind. Um, but basically, that's what I'm working on. Can't believe I forgot to turn the camera on. And I was just having this big, long conversation with you. <laughs> so, I hope that everyone had a fabulous Saturday. It is, I don't know, it's probably 4, yeah, it's going, well, it's going on 5 o'clock here, 5 p.m., We've had a busy day outside, but we are pretty much set, I think. Well, we have a really small vegetable garden that we're going to plant tomorrow, which when I say small, it's small. It's probably maybe eight feet by six feet, something like that. Really small one. Um, I didn't really want to plant it this year because it doesn't get enough sun. So it seems like every year we're going through all these motions for nothing. But my husband is adamant that he wants to plant it. So tomorrow we're going to do that. And all of the other planting and things like that have been completed as of today. We got all our patio furniture out and power washed all day long today. Um, but everything's all set up and the weather is saying we're going to be in the 70s and 80s as far as we can see. So I think uh, summer is upon us. We had a absolutely beautiful spring here in Rhode Island which I'm very thankful for. It was gorgeous. And I think that's why we're, we're, we are as far along with our outdoor things than normal because of the weather we've had. We were able to do, you know, projects each weekend. Um, to get us along this far. We usually, we usually strive to have everything ready by Memorial Weekend, but then my husband opened the pool yesterday and usually like, you know, it takes a good four or five days for that to get all cleaned up and operating properly and everything just went like clockwork, clockwork, and the water was hardly dirty at all. I mean, we're still going through all the steps you need to go through, but it, it was like remarkable how, I don't know. And we did have winter, you know, not, I mean, more than last winter, but nothing horrific. But, I don't know, we were shocked when we took the cover off and saw where we were. It was incredible. You could, you could see, 
you can actually see the bottom of the deep end of the pool, <laughs> which is never, ever does that happen. But So he's going to go to the pool store tomorrow and have our water checked, see what we might need to add in there. But everything looks great. I think all my planting is done other than the vegetable garden, but we are very pleased. So I am going to work on, um, there's my word create, I'm going to work on st stitching this so I won't bore you with that. I will turn you off and come back once I get that stitched and we'll go from there. See you in a few. Okay, so I am back. I did all of my stitching. I um, didn't mention I chose like a navy blue to do the stitching in. I, at least I don't think I mentioned it because I'm a little bit confused because I thought I was videoing and wasn't. So I don't know what I said and didn't say. <laughs> so if I'm repeating myself, that's why. So um, I have my two texts done. And I've decided on the front, I am going to, I'm just putting this up here to measure it. I'm going to put this, I'm going to use this piece of fabric just to support this piece because it's fairly thin. And I feel like it just needs something else. So I'm going to um, attach this to this, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm just trying to see how long I want it to be. So I'm going to cut that down. And I'm horrible at cutting straight, that's for sure. Because my tag is going to be, well, I'm referring to it as a tag. The front's going to be thin, but I'm going to add this um, lace, this little tatting. I guess it's tatting on this edge and put my create. And then I'm what I'm thinking, where did my button go? I was thinking about putting the button on the front. So that's what I am going to attempt. So I sort of want this here. So I'm going to stitch all these together. Well, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to stitch this to this. And then I'll stitch these two together for strength and put that on there. Make sure I have room for my button. Maybe I need to move this. Oh. I need to move my create up. Might move it up a little bit. Oh, I'm going to have room. Because I'm going to have to stitch that to that. This is getting very complicated. <laughs> I think I'm just going to Yeah, leave my raw edge. So I can move that up a little bit. I'll put that up there make more room for my button I want to use. Alright. So, I think around 
my text, I've decided to use red. I'm just going to do a straight stitch. That's my plan. I'm only using two strands of this DMC on this. I'm wondering if I should have used three, but I didn't want the red to be like in your face. Do you know what I mean? I wanted it to be there and show, but... The thing that makes it difficult for me is my tag is so small. I hope that Anne does this again next year. I'm going to make bigger tags, but I just don't want to change my tag size midstream here. So I'm going to deal with it. And I'm sorry, I need to turn you off for just one second.
so I have finished my tag. Um, I like it. Um, I wish I would have done something different with stitches, but overall I'm satisfied with it. Um, I wish I was trying to figure out a way to be able to actually utilize the button so you would have to unhook it to flip it up, but I'm happy with this. I love the fabrics that I chose. Um, I really do. So I'm glad that I have pieces of them in my tag collection here um, so that I can admire them for years to come. So I appreciate everybody stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my tag. And um, I'll be back tomorrow with another project. Have a great evening and happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.